With winter weather advisory in effect right now, that includes the entire tri-state. It means that traveling is dangerous. It's treacherous. So with hazardous conditions, you want to take it slow, but we are here to get you through it. As you can see, there are some areas where we have little to nothing going on, maybe a light misting in parts of Passaic, even Bergen counties. But if you look across Nassau, Suffolk County, it's still coming down. Now remember, just off to our south, we're already picking up that rain snow line highlighted in your purple. That's your freezing rain. And just off to the south there in Ocean Counties, perhaps that we are seeing a little bit of that wintry mix. That line will actually shift north. What's going to happen is we can actually make out that area of low pressure as it moves offshore. It's going to strengthen a bit, allowing for steady snow showers across the area right through the morning rush. But as the morning rush progresses toward the tail end of that is where we'll see a defined line of that changeover shift further north. So here's what it looks like highlighted in your bluish color. That's your snow coming down. So look at how it gets a little bit more steady as the morning wears on. Look at that. This is around the nine o'clock hour. So for the Hudson Valley, Sussex County, down and toward Bergen counties, even Passaic County, Morris County. In fact, Calorama, she's in Morris County right now. And you can see lighter, fluffier snow at times. It gets a little bit of a break, but it's kind of like that intermittent. So what's going to happen is that that rain snow line will lift toward the tail end of the morning rush, allowing for that changeover between the 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock hours right through noon. There will be some areas that will get a little bit of that break, maybe some light misting, perhaps the lower Hudson Valley, including Westchester County, Rockland County, down into parts of New Jersey and even within the five boroughs. Looks like parts of Staten Island will get a little bit of a mixing there and then further interior sections still getting snow showers coming down. So in terms of when we will start to see things relax a little bit and wind down between three and about five from west to east and with that that said, that colder air will be reinforced, the coldest of the season so far. Those wind chills will actually be lower than these actual temperatures. This is what it is tomorrow morning, 17 degrees. That's the actual temperature reading. Now it's going to feel like the single digits when you factor in the winds, and then we'll get a little bit of relief if you want to call 23 degrees a relief, but it's going to feel more like the teens. It's a rinse and repeat as we head in toward uh, Thursday. Not as cold, but still cold enough. Three to five inches locally higher amounts further inland, and that rings true too for the two to four general amount just north of the I-95 corridor. Along the I-95 corridor in south, lesser accumulations of of course, we'll bring you the latest on top of the snow accumulations, guys. Keep in mind, it's going to be icy. These are ice accretions highlighted in pink. So it's going to be slippery with freezing rain, perhaps. Now, freezing rain is rain of freezing on contact when it hits the pavement. So snow-covered roads, icy glaze, travel disruptions, that's what we're looking at. Wind chills in the single digits at or even below zero. So there's a look at your seven-day forecast. I said Tomorrow, the coldest of the season so far, but Saturday will even be colder than that. That's your PIX11 weather forecast.